Hi, my name is Holly, and welcome to the EMT Random Testing Station. Hi, my name is Liz. Good. May I see your ID, please? Sure. Thank you. If you would please point to a card, we'll decide what station that you'll be testing today. Okay. This one right here. The Bleeding and Wounds and Shock Management Station. Your equipment is behind me. Let's go check it out. Okay. Welcome to the Bleeding Control and Shock Management Skills Station. This station is designed to test your ability to control hemorrhage and hypoperfusion. This is a scenario-based testing station. As you progress through the scenario, you will be given various signs and symptoms appropriate for the patient's condition. You will be required to manage the patient's based on these signs and symptoms. A scenario will be read to you and you will be given an opportunity to ask clarifying questions about the scenario. However, you will not receive answers to any questions about the actual steps of the procedures to be performed. You may use any of the equipment supplied for this station and you will have 10 minutes to complete the skill station. Please take a moment to look over your equipment. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions regarding the equipment? I do not. Do you have any other questions? No. Okay. Then we may begin. All right. Now that you've gotten your equipment ready, I'd like to introduce you to Shannon, your EMT assist, should you need any EMT Hi, assist. Hi, Then I'll dispatch you. Okay. You're dispatched to an industrial warehouse where a worker has been cut on the elbow just below the antecubital fossa with a piece of sheet metal and the wound is bleeding heavily. Okay. It is his right forearm. All right. May I start? You may. All right. BSI scene safe. You may begin. Hello, sir. My name's Liz. I'm an EMT. Let me go ahead and take a look at that wound for you. Uh, it is bleeding pretty heavily. Okay, go ahead and place your hand back over it. I'm going to go ahead and place a dressing on the wound right here. I've placed uh, direct pressure on the wound. Does this stop the bleeding? The wound continues to bleed. Okay. Shannon, can I get you to go ahead and please hold direct pressure? Thank you. Since the wound is still bleeding heavily, I'm going to place a tourniquet proximal to the wound. I will tighten the tourniquet down until I've noted that the bleeding has stopped. The bleeding is now controlled. At this time, I've secured the tourniquet and I'm going to place a bandage over the dressing for a pressure dressing. Okay. Your patient is now showing signs and symptoms indicative of shock. All right. I'm going to place a blanket over the patient so that he can maintain his body temperature. And place him on high flow oxygen via 15 liters non rebreather. Ensuring that I inflate the bag before placing it over the patient's face. And place the mask over the patient's nose and mouth. Okay, let me place it to the side. Right. And at this time we would uh, rapidly transport the patient. Okay. And I've completed the station. All right. Thank you.